When you think it's time for the baby to come, please call before you leave for the hospital. This will help us prepare for your arrival. Call our birth center main line at 604-244-5133 and talk to one of the nurses. The nurse will help you decide if it's time to make your way to the hospital. When to leave for the hospital depends on your personal situation, such as when your baby is due, if this is your first labor, or if there is bleeding or leaking of fluid. Don't forget to make sure that those who are in need of your supervision are looked after. In Baby's Best Chance Handbook, there is a list of items you will need to bring in your hospital bag. Please bring to the hospital an additional 10 menstrual pads, 10 newborn diapers, and additional baby wipes. It is also a good idea to bring in extra pillows. Partners, support persons will have to bring in their own pillow and linen for sleeping. When arriving at the hospital to have your baby, you can park your car in front of the emergency entrance. You can park here for up to an hour. You will need to pay for your parking at the blue and grey dispenser in front of the emergency entrance using your stall number. The parking dispensers take coin and credit cards only. You can proceed through the emergency entrance and check in at the emergency admitting desk. You will provide the admitting clerk with your care card and another piece of picture identification. If you are too distressed to stop at the admitting desk, please proceed to the birth centre and your partner can go back down to get your admission form. To get to the birth centre, you will proceed to the tower elevators and go to the third floor. The birth centre is to the left once you exit the elevator. Upon arriving at the birth centre, either a nurse or unit clerk will welcome you. The nurse will take you into our triage or assessment room. After getting settled, your partner or support person can move your car to the parkade. Meanwhile, back at the birth center in triage, the nurse will collect a urine sample, take your blood pressure and temperature, and check the baby's heart rate. The nurse will ask you about your due date about your general health, any allergies you may have, and any medications you are currently taking. If your physician or midwife gave you any forms to bring to the hospital, please give them to your nurse now. The nurse may also perform an internal exam to determine how far you are dilated. Depending on the information provided by this assessment, you may be admitted to the birth center or you may be encouraged to go home until you are farther along in your labor. It is not unusual for first-time mums to be sent home when they are in early labour. Most women are more comfortable at home in this stage of their labour. The birth centre team includes registered nurses as well as family physicians, obstetricians, anesthesiologists, midwives, paediatricians and social workers, all here to provide you with excellent care and service. Richmond Hospital is a teaching hospital, so you may also have a student involved in your care, always working under the guidance of the birth centre staff. If you are admitted at this time, you will be escorted to one of our modern, well-equipped birth rooms. Each room has a special birthing bed for mum, a large chair for the mum to sit in during her labour or for breastfeeding, a bench or fold-out bed for the support person, and private bathroom for the mum with either a shower or a bathtub. Other equipment, such as a fetal monitor, blood pressure machine, and birthing bar are available in the birth room. Additional equipment available for your labor and birth includes a birth ball, or you can bring your own, and a birthing chair. An infant care center will also be in the room in the event the baby needs help following the birth. You are encouraged to make your birth room more comfortable during your stay. You can bring in your own music, change the position of the bed, or dim the lights. During your stay at the hospital, you'll be provided with three meals daily. If you have food allergies or require a special diet, please let us know. You will have access to a fridge, either in your room or in one of the two kitchen areas on the unit. You may bring snacks and drinks to enjoy during your stay. Each kitchen has a toaster, kettle, 
water and ice machine, and a fridge. For the mum, there is a small selection of juices, milk, and snacks provided to enjoy. Support people will need to bring in their own food or can use the cafeteria located on the second floor. There is also a coffee shop located on the main floor in the lobby.